You know, if you got that burning desire inside, you got to do it. You know, this is oh, this is one of those things. You know, you got to give it a try. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. If it works out, it's for the best. Hey, go start a business. All I'm saying is, if you are wanting to get into this business, whether it's video, photo, content creation, managing social accounts, anything in that world, becoming an entrepreneur, you've really got to know what's entailed, and you got to be able to not only enact on it, but be passionate because it's going to be so hard. It's going to be so hard at times that you're going to want to throw in the towel and give up. But if you've got the burning desire deep inside, then, it's, then you're going to prevail. It's not going to be that difficult. So this was an interesting day. I typically don't um, go to many events. Uh, this one was held at Toronto Metropolitan University, downtown Toronto. You know, there's some cool gear to check out, um, hands-on demos with, you know, Sony camera bodies and lenses. And there was like a, a wedding and an animal set up. And then they had like a live sports set up. So it was really cool to go in and, and test the, the gear in these, these different scenarios. This was put on by uh, Vistec Photo Video Shop, um, great store in Toronto. If you ever need some gear they've definitely been one of my go-to's for many years so this event was super cool uh, there was a sports set up here and uh, this was an interesting shot for me I wanted to show this gentleman but I wanted to blur his face out you know he was part of the event and and, and said we could use his likeness uh, so shout out to him but this is something I literally just found out about I was scouring YouTube but if you go into effects click uh, blur and then in this case I, I got a Gaussian blur if you mouse over your subject, the software automatically finds, you know, the face or the object, and you can literally just drag your effect right onto it. Uh, in this case, I'm just, you know, sizing, rotating the, the blur a little bit, stretching and shrinking. And once you've done that, you just click analyze. It's gonna go through a couple times, analyze the frame, and then literally just apply it. And so once that's done, you just click done, and you can play back from there, and it's like perfectly matched up. I spent many, many hours looking through different masking videos on how to do this, and I literally just came across this by accident. So I'm super glad I found this trick. And the highlight of the event for me was just meeting people and to get to see some professional creators in the industry. A few of these people here are from Toronto, and it was just great to hear from them and their stories, especially some of them are, you know, my position and have kids. So super fun event. Thanks to Vistec for putting that on. So like a lot of people have always asked me like, Mike, you know, how's the process? How's the journey, the, you know, the transition when you went from a full-time career into what you're doing now? And I'm like, well, first off, if it wasn't for my wife, there was no way that I would be able to make that transition financially. Like for us, for our family, we had just had my daughter, there was a lot going on. There's no way I would have been able to do it with her. So like, you know, I'm blessed to have her in my life for so many reasons, but uh, she helped me on that transition. And, you know, I, I tell everybody this was, you know, making the move from a corporate to a corporate position to like, you know, owning, operating my own business. Um, it wasn't easy at all. It wasn't easy, a lot of stress. Uh, a lot of anxiety, a lot of uncertainty. Uh, but the way I thought about it was, if you don't ever try, you know, you're not going to know, right? And and now that I'm, you know, I've, I think I'm about six years in now. It's, I tell everyone, it's the best decision of my entire life. It's the worst decision in some cases, but you know, the stress that you have from working for yourself is a personal managed stress. It's not a stress from someone else that you're, you know, you're having to live up to certain things and deadlines and, uh, you know, that are out of your, your control, your reach, things that, that you need to, uh, take care of yourself or I think in my opinion, a lot more easily digestible and manageable if, their issues that you created to begin with or just processes or, or whatever it is that that you're dealing with that you have the control of you know it's a lot more uh easier to manage if uh you've started that process yourself it's not through someone else it's not through a middleman it's so yes this is the best and worst decision of my life i love owning and operating a business it gives me so much freedom um absolutely hands down the best thing ever i wish i started it sooner 
Like, I wish I started it sooner. So like, let's talk for a minute. You know, you wanna make this transition from where you're at now in life to something else. And you know, whether that's a new business venture, a side hustle, whatever, you know, in my opinion, if you have that itch down inside, you really need to go after it and follow it. See what it is, you know, your intuition, nothing about intuition lies. You know, it's there for a reason. It's in your gut, it's in your heart, it's in your soul. You need to follow it. And you know, if you're right, you're right. If you're wrong, you're wrong. But so what if you're wrong? You move on and you go to the next thing. Point blank, you know, why waste time on, on figuring if you're gonna like or not like something. You know, the amount of time that you sit there and stew on an idea, you could have been in and out on that idea. You know, again, if it worked, it worked. If it didn't work, then it didn't work. But at least you knew just like that. You know, the snap of an instance, you knew it didn't work. And guess what, you move on to the next thing. But that's kind of like the whole point of life. You know, I'm in my 40s now, I just turned 40. Whether or not you call it like, <laughs> a pre midlife crisis, you start to really say, Hey, you know what? Um, you know, for me in my instance, I've got, I'm married. I have two kids. Uh, I've got a mortgage. I've got, you know, car payments, bills, just like everybody have everything on top of that. I got to run the business and you got to make it happen. You got to, you got to keep your bills paid. Uh, you got to, you know, keep business coming in. You have to consistently perform for yourself, for your family. There's nothing easy about that. It's hard work. You know, it's, you got to get it done. End of the day, you got to get it done. It's hard work. That's, that is what it is. Push that to the side. That's one, that's one thing. And now you got to deal with everything else. You know, um, you know, my, my day to day, my work life, I'm usually, uh, you know, depending, I've got some retainer clients. We'll go and shoot content. Uh, the beginning of the quarter or mid quarter, and then I get to deliver, you know, by end of quarter. And then I've got, you know, a little bit of work here and there that kind of comes in that I take. And, you know, it's, it's juggling all this. And, you know, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's to keep my bank account full to where I need it so I can support my family, my wife, my kids, my property, you know, taxes, bills, you know, car payments, water, gas, hydro, You've got um, all this stuff that you have to take care of. You know, that's like day-to-day -day kind of accounting, take care of this. Uh, you've got business accounting, take care of that. You've got business taxes. You've got your, uh, let's say your HST, your quarterly taxes. You've got your uh, yearly provincial taxes. Um, so much admin to take care of. You know, there's so much external noise, so to speak, of running the business. We're in the actual business that I'm operating, the making the creative. This is technically the simple stuff, but taking all this and getting it out to the masses is another step and another process. So if you're doing all this yourself, it is a ton of work, an absolute shitload of work. But if you're passionate about what you do, you're gonna do it. End of story, you know? Thursday comes around, you gotta mow the grass, you gotta mow the grass, right? So all I'm saying is if you are wanting to get into this business and you know, whether it's video, photo, content creation, uh, managing social accounts, anything in that world, um, you know, be becoming an entrepreneur, you've really got to know what's entailed and you gotta be able to not only enact on it, but be passionate because it's going to be so hard. It's going to be so hard at times that you're going to want to throw in the towel and give up. But if you've got the burning desire deep inside, then it's, then you're going to prevail. It's not going to be that difficult. Okay. Take that with a grain of salt. It's just like you want to be a YouTube personality. You're either going to make it big all of a sudden, which is very, very rare that 1% or you're going to be on the journey like everybody else and you're going to be, you know, three years, two years, three years, five years in to get some traction. Um, you know, it takes time. And that's what uh, was a big eye opener to me. You know, things take time. Life takes time. Processes take time. And the, the hard part about that to swallow is that we are in the, we are in a society in an age of 
digital consumption, you know, Amazon instant purchases, scrolling on social media endlessly, getting that fix. We are used to quickness. Everything is quick, fast food. We interpret that to internalize it to, you know, to, to everything now in life. And that's not necessarily the case, you know, especially like I'm talking, growing a business, it takes time. So if you're passionate, you can relax, you can be patient and take that time to build where you want to go. It's going to happen. There's no doubt in my mind it's going to happen. Like if you are that person, you're going to make it happen because you have no choice. You have to make it happen. So anyways, little rant, that's, that's where we're at.